The title of this book is William Oddity's Guide to the Avian. It is involved with the Eagle's Peak quest and is a beginner's guide to hunter as it goes over the main types of birds that can be caught for early hunter XP. Usually the Crimson Swifts are skipped by a completion of the Farak Museum mini quest, but they are still covered in this book as they are a bird. Contents Crimson Swift, Sir Euline Twitch, Golden Warbler, Tropical Wagtail, Copper Longtail, Giant Eagle. Crimson Swift. The Crimson Swift is a tropical bird that typically lives in the dense jungle areas. Subtlety is not one of this bird's strong points. It's striking red plumage ensuring it will be visible wherever it goes, making it a popular first bird for hunters and spotters alike. Suruline Twitch this polar bird, found in the far northern regions, can survive at impressively low temperatures. Although its long tail affords great maneuverability, it is also the cause of a great deal of interest from collectors. Golden Warbler The Golden Warbler can be easily identified by its hideously annoying song. Although the warbler is prized by hunters for its fine feathers, it is probably caught just as much simply to shut it up. Tropical Wagtail This beautiful bird can be found in hot jungle climates where it expertly catches small insects for food. It is perhaps therefore ironic that it is usually caught for its bright plumage, which can be used in turn for making excellent fly fishing lures. Copper Longtail. The Copper Longtail is found in temperate wooded regions and is one of the most common birds in the world. Although its appearance is unremarkable, it is a graceful and successful bird that continues to fend well for itself. Giant Eagle. Little is known about the giant eagles. There are reported sightings in many parts of the world, but the nests of these magnificent creatures remain elusive. The only record of such a nest being found is in the folk tale of the bandits of the Golden Claw. It is said that the bandits' leader could talk to and befriend the eagles and use the eagles' nest at the top of what is now known as Eagles Peak as a hideout. The story goes on to hint at a secret entrance to the hideaway existing near the peak of the mountains, but until this day, it has not been found. And we've reached the end of William Oddity's Avian Adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And just a little disclaimer, you don't actually hunt eagles in old school runescape, in case anyone out there who's super patriotic or something was offended by that. Uh, rather, you ride them with a rope. And they are a interesting method of transportation. Pretty useful in dead man mode, actually, when it comes to alternative routes of getting into the desert. One route that people use for getting into the desert is a teleport to Ponavinch tab, but that really only works if you have 70 agility as an escape there for the Ponavinch agility. Rooftop Agility course, but if you have Eagle's Peak done, you can just fly out to the desert and you can walk around and you can see anyone who's scald from a distance before you walk up on them. So, Eagle's Peak can come in handy for that in Dead Man mode. And this book is found at the site of Eagle's Peak where you begin the quest. Well, actually, I think you started in Arty Zoo, but it's the first clue that you find about where to look for the main character in that quest. So if anyone hasn't done Eagle's Peak yet, then maybe this reading will have helped you a little bit, or at least encouraged you to find that Eagle's Peak 
is a useful quest to do. It also might soon be a requirement for box traps in order to prevent bots, but I think there was some controversy with being able to be a level 3 when you do that quest because there is one thing you have to fight. Maybe they already did that update. I don't really know. If anyone knows about whether or not you need equals peak done to do box traps or whether that was just a JJX pipe dream in one of their live streams, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm actually kind of curious now that I mentioned that. Alright, well, I'll see you soon with the next audiobook, guys. Peace.